Hi guys, welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. I want to say a pleasant good night to each and every one of you. Hope everybody had a wonderful day today. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, I would like to welcome you to my channel. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be sharing a very authentic recipe with you guys and this is Indian chicken curry or red chicken curry. The flavor is just amazing and you guys will love it you're in for a treat if you want to see this come on down and let's get started to start with our indian curry first of all i have a small chicken all parts cut washed with lime and now i'm gonna add some seasoning so i'm gonna go in with some salt just a teaspoon and I'll leave all the measurement in the description below. I'm gonna go in with some turmeric powder. And I'm gonna add some yogurt, about half a cup of yogurt. And we're gonna mix this in and leave it to marinate about 25 to 30 minutes while I'm preparing the rest of my ingredients. So we wanna, so we wanna mix everything in. The yogurt is gonna help to tenderize this chicken and it's gonna help us to get a nice sauce in the curry, like a nice thick gravy as well. So we're gonna leave this and come back to it after I finish with the other ingredients. So next I'm gonna be preparing some fresh garlic, ginger, and onion for this dish. I'm gonna cut up the onions and I'll come right back and let you guys know the next step. So in the pan, I have about one and a half tablespoon of oil. I'm gonna add some whole jeera or cumin and we're just gonna cook it up a little in the oil so all the beautiful flavor can release into the oil. Just about a minute or so. Next, we're gonna be adding some cardamom. I'm gonna add four green cardamom one black cardamom and we're infusing all that flavor into the oil we're gonna add a few pieces of cinnamon stick some clove and one bay leaf and we're just gonna let all the beautiful aroma and flavor infuse into the oil Now that the spices were cooking, we're gonna add our onions, and that's the two onions I chopped up. We're gonna cook the onions now until it's nice and soft. And all that beautiful spices is going to marry in well with the onion. Now that our onion is softened up a little, we're going to add some our garlic and we're going to add some ginger. We want to mix everything in and let them mingle a little with each other and then we will move to the next step so everything looks nice and toasty the onion is nice and soft and our aromatics are nicely blend in together the reason i am toasting it is because toasting your 
spices and your ingredients bring out a different level of flavor. So now I'm going to turn the stove off. I'm going to let it cool down a little and I'll show you the next step. Next, we're going to add all this goodness to my blender. That's the reason why I didn't cut up the garlic and the ginger too small because I'm blending it up. I'm going to get every drop of this goodness and then I'll add a little bit of water and we will blend this up to a paste. So I'm going to start the blending process. So all ingredients are blended. The aroma in my kitchen is lovely. So in the pan, I have about a teaspoon and a half of oil. I'm going to add all the blended ingredients. We're going to mix this in. Wow. Aroma is amazing. And we're going to cook this for about four to five minutes. And we'll come right back and show the next step. Now that our mixture has been cooking up for, for about five minutes, we're going to add a cup of tomato sauce. We're going to mix that in. And we will add some chili powder into the mixture as well. I will leave all the measurements in the description below. Next, I'm gonna add some ground coriander or coriander powder. I'm gonna add some roasted jeera or cumin. And we're gonna mix that in. So we're adding layers and layers of flavor as we go along. After adding the, the cumin and the coriander powder, we're gonna cook it for another three to four minutes, and then we'll come back and add another ingredient. So now that this has been cooking up, we're gonna add our chicken, and I wish if you guys can smell the aroma in my kitchen, the aromatics, everything just open up and they smell so delicious so i'm gonna add the chicken now that i had sitting in the marinade for half an hour and i'm trying to get out all this yogurt that i had in the chicken this is gonna be one delicious red curry or indian curry i'm gonna mix everything in Look at that, so divine, beautiful looking Indian curry or red curry. So I'm gonna let this cook for a few minutes and then we'll come back and check it out in about four to five minutes. So our curry has been cooking up nicely. I'm going to be adding some salt now because I had added salt to season the chicken. So just about a teaspoon. I will make sure that I taste for salt later. And I'm going to add some garam masala. And that's some blended garam masala. And we're going to mix everything in. I'm going to wait until some of this water co is cooked down before I add some more water because we want the chicken to cook properly and be nice and soft and tender. While I'm waiting for the curry to finish, I'm gonna make a quick 
salad with some radish, carrot, and a piece of cucumber. And this we're gonna eat on the side of our Indian curry and basmati rice today. So what I'm doing with the carrot, I want a very, very thin strips. So I just use my potato peeler and I'm just shaving, shaving the carrot out like that. And in that way, I'm gonna get my perfectly thin strips of carrots. So the chicken is cooking up nicely. I have it on medium heat cooking. I didn't add any water to the chicken, but it reduced its own water. I'm gonna let some of the liquid cook down and I'm gonna add a little bit more water to make sure that our chicken is cooked through and it's nice and soft and tender. Once in a while, I like to cook this Indian chicken curry because it's so rich in flavor and it's an absolute satisfying dish. So I thinly slice my radish and then the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut them back into small strips. And this is how I'm gonna prepare my radishes to go with the carrots and the cucumber. So what I'll do with the cucumber, I'm just gonna make small strips just like the radish because we wanna have the same size almost with the vegetables on the side. So my beautiful looking salad, nice colors, I finished cutting up. So I'm just gonna add a pinch of salt to this. And then I'm gonna go in with a half of a lemon. This is a big lemon. So I'm gonna use half. And I'm gonna squeeze this out. The lemon is big, so big for me. I'm gonna squeeze the lemon juice out and I'm gonna leave it to sit into the, the carrots, the cucumber and the radish. So by the time dinner is done, it's gonna have a nice pickle flavor. So now my chicken starts sticking to the bottom and most of the liquid is reduced. So I'm gonna add about a cup of water just so our chicken can cook properly. That's all that it takes, not much at all about that. And then we will let this simmer for a few minutes before I serve up dinner. Look how beautiful it looks and look how nice and thick the gravy is. This will be one amazing chicken. So here is our beautiful Indian curry or our red curry. I love to sprinkle some cilantro or coriander on the top just to add some more flavor and it also look beautiful on the dish. So now look at that beautiful thick gravy on the side. And wow, look at that. And my kitchen smells beautiful. So right before I play it up, I have a success story to share. One of our viewer and our subscriber um, follow one of my recipe for curry sna fried snapper. And she sent me some pictures because she was very happy with the results. So I'm going to post that right after this. Here it is, guys. Beautiful looking plate, very, very nice aroma. And I just can't wait, so I'm gonna dig in. And right here in this nice gravy here, I'm gonna mix up some of this basmati rice. I have a little piece of chicken here. And I'm gonna take my first mouthful for all my viewers and all my subscribers. This is your mouthful, I am drooling. I know some of you are probably drooling too. Oh 
Oh my goodness. The flavors are just bursting out in every single part in my mouth. So rich. If you love Indian food, this will be something that you would want to make once a week so delicious there is no shortage of flavor on this plate i'm gonna have to do some of this beautiful pickle salad that i made and i'm gonna take another mouthful and i want to show how nice the chicken is cooked nice and soft because this is just a mouth watering dish to all my friends and some of my indian friends who may be watching cheers to you guys as well cheers guys Mm. somebody pinch me this is so good i feel i'm dining in an indian restaurant right now so all are invited to come and eat dinner with me tonight if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you're new and haven't subscribed yet you only have to subscribe to one video that's it and it's free to subscribe i want to say to you guys if you're living in the u.s and you're affected by the flood i am praying for you guys hope everything get better soon i want to say good night stay safe i love you guys bye for now